In this video, we are going to focus on angles at a point. In particular, we have four different angles here. Complementary angles, where all the angles in this 90 degree angle add up to 90 degrees. Supplementary angles, straight line equals 180, so all angles on this line must equal 180. Vertically opposite angles, this cross looking shape here, we have these two identical in size and these two identical in size and all of those add up to 360. But it's important to know that they will be the same measurement, the same degrees. And angles at a point means that every angle at this point here all the way around adds up to 360 degrees. There is correct way of showing your working out and we're going to look at that now. So let's take a look at the first one here. We're trying to find angle A. So we go angle A equals, so A degrees equals. Now I know that all adds up to 90 degrees. So if I have 90 degrees and then subtract what I've been given here, which is 40 degrees, what I find that's left over will be my missing angle. 90 degrees minus 40 degrees is 50 degrees. So I've now solved the unknown angle. In any question that you do for this, you have to then write down the type of angle that you have uh, worked on. In this case, I've already written it at the top, but you would write complementary angles underneath to show your understanding of the angle. The next one is supplementary angles. So I know that that straight line, all angles on a straight line equal 180 degrees. I've been asked to find angle Y. So y degrees equals 180 degrees, subtracting what I've already got here, which is 120 degrees. Because if I subtract that, what's left over will be my missing angle. And when I do that, I get 60 degrees left over. And again, I must write the angle type underneath here, which is supplementary angles. Over here for vertically opposite angles. This one I don't need to show any calculations for because I know that this angle is equal to this angle. I also know this angle here is equal to this angle there. So if I've got to find E degrees, which is the missing angle they're asking me to find, all I've got to do is look opposite it and it's 60 degrees. And again, I have to write vertically opposite angles underneath to show my understanding of that angle. The last one here is angles at a point, and all the angles at this point here will add up to 360 degrees. So again, I've been asked to find a missing angle. In this case, it's x degrees. And if I know that's all 360, that's my starting point, 360 degrees. Now I have to subtract all of that total there, and what's left over will be my missing angle. So I have to subtract the total of these angles, 140 degrees plus 20 degrees plus 80 degrees. And I just drop down the 360 degrees on the next line. I add all the uh, measurements up in the bracket, which comes to 210 degrees. So now I go 360 minus all the other angles added up, which is 210 degrees. And when I subtract that, I get 150 degrees. So now I know the angle X is 150 degrees. And again, at the very end of this, I need to write down the type of angle I've been working on, and it's angles at a point.